I hope you enjoyed watching the video with Dana discussing resins. That was a pretty long video and we had a great time shooting that video. And as promised, we are doing a video compiling my favorite resins and balsams or resinous and balsamic fragrances. We have 22 fragrances, not exactly 20. And I didn't want to skip any of them because they are all great in their own way. And if you also uh, watch this video, you'll realize that I have a lot of incense in the fragrances. We've done an incense video. I have a lot of amber fragrances in this video. We've done a separate amber video. But ambers and labdanum, we have labdanum going with ambers. Incense, frankincense, they all go together. But as a whole, we have my top 22 resinous and uh, balsamic fragrances. So if you want to find out what they are, please stay tuned. Thanks so much for tuning in. This is Sebastian with Smelling Great Fragrance Reviews. If this is your first time tuning into the channel and you love watching fragrance reviews, finding out about new fragrances, discovering new brands, and of course participating in giveaways and still haven't subscribed, please click that subscribe button below and also click the bell so you'll be notified for future videos and giveaways. Let's jump right into it. So I'm going to start off first thing with a fragrance from the House of Penhaligans. And unfortunately I think this one is discontinued. So if you like this idea, please get yourself a bottle. This is Agarbathi. So these are very balsamic fragrances with resins, and this one has, of course, uh, frankincense in the notes, but you also have uh, Palo Santo, which is a type of uh, wood that is burned in the south of America. I'm not too familiar with fra uh, Palo Santo, but uh, this one smells pretty phenomenal, I think, uh, personally to me. You also have notes of suede, leather, olibanum, another resin, sandalwood, and milk. Very, very beautiful fragrance. It does smell like a, a bit like wood chippings in the forest with like pine trees and things like that, but very, very incense-y. So that's Agarbathi from Penhaligans, and as I said, I think it's discontinued. Next up going to the house of Dior it's Bois d'Argent. So why did I pick this one? Because it has iris in the notes but it also has a pretty prominent myrrh note which is very very resinous and balsamic. You also have some floral notes and musk. This is mostly a skin scent for me but it's absolutely delicious and it's very very resinous. The myrrh note is very very standout. It's very it's gorgeous. It's a very, very gorgeous balsamic fragrance and very, very beautiful to wear. It's a lot about iris though, so you gotta like that, but it's a combo of the iris with the myrrh, as I think they're very, very, very equally balanced. I'm sure you've heard about this. It's a very popular fragrance uh, from the House of Dior with the Maison Christian Dior collection of fragrances. So if you don't know Bois d'Argent and you like the idea of myrrh, then definitely check out Bois d'Argent from uh, Dior. Unfortunately, I'm not ranking in this video. Perhaps in the future we'll do a ranked video. But next up, going to the house of Amouage, it's Interlude Man. And this one is utilizing so many different notes here. Lots going on with this one because it has also a very, very unique green uh, herbal aromatic touch running through it uh, with the oregano note, which kind of is a... Uh, odd but works great here but with this one you have lots of frankincense it's a lot of frankincense you also have some apopanax which is a beautiful resin and then you have some amber oregano of course as mentioned leather oud a great great scent it smells really really divine I think it smells great but to me I feel like this version the current version compared to the older version not as beast mode and I do have a separate video explaining this and a lot of people say no it's beast mode well to me it's not but still it's a great scent don't get me wrong I just feel it's not as intense as it should be but if you're looking for that very very unique frankincense poppinax resinous fragrance with balsamic touches and of course the oregano thrown in then check out Interlude Man from Amouage, which is awesome. So here we go with another fragrance that's also very balsamic and resinous. This is Casbah from Robert Piguet. Um, this was featured at number one in my incense video, but this one features frankincense, angelica, pepper, nutmeg, vetiver. Smells like church to me, like really, literally smells like church. And to me, growing up Christian Orthodox with the incense in our church, uh, it smells like that church. Absolutely does. Um, I just love the way it smells, but you gotta love the way church smells in order to appreciate something like this. But it is, as I said, all, all about uh, frankincense and it is, it is intense. The frankincense in here is intense. So if you like frankincense, you must check out Casbah from Robert Piguet. Next, going to the house of Tiziana Terenzi and it's Ladano Nero. Of course, this has to be on the list. This is a lot about frankincense. Then you also have cognac. You also have oud. You also have tobacco. You also have amber. And of course, labdanum. And labdanum is one of the notes we discussed in the video with Dana. And what is this called? Ladano Nero, black or dark uh, labdanum. And that's what it's all about. A lot of people say it smells like black afghano. I could see that. But this one's very, very smoky and ashy to me compared to uh, 
Black Afghano, which is on this video. I'm going to talk about it soon. Uh, it's not as ashy to me. It's more about hashish and um, uh, lots of frankincense, of course. But this is a very, very unique creation from uh, Mr. Paolo Terenzi. Absolutely lovely fragrance from Tiziana Terenzi, La de Nero. So that's another one where you can find very balsamic and resinous uh, features uh, in a fragrance. So check it out if you don't know this one. Well, next up, we're going to the House of Papillon Perfumery. And I had to include this one in here because it has a very, very prominent and standout Myrrh note, and I'm talking about Anubis, which is mostly about leather, but it's suede leather, very, very smooth and buttery, but also very charred uh, smoked leather. And you've got that big myrrh note in here, and I think that's what's giving it the smoky quality. And when I was going through my collection of fragrances, I realized that I don't have a lot of myrrh note fragrances. So I had to put this in here because, of course, it's mostly about leather, as I said, but there's a lot of myrrh in here that gives it a very smoky, charred quality. It's definitely very balsamic and resinous. You also have olibanum, and I think olibanum and the myrrh together is giving what the, the smoky quality is with this fragrance. And then, of course, you got some immortelle for a dry, dusty kind of uh, herbal quality. It's a very, very good fragrance, very, very beast, intense, a little goes a long way. So if you like that kind of a fragrance featuring leather and resins and balsamic, then definitely check out Anubis from Papillon Perfumery. It's a great, great scent. Next we're going with a fragrance that I'm absolutely head over heels with, and that's Guerlain Bois Mysterio. Absolutely head over heels with. And this one actually features myrrh in the nose. Lots of myrrh, lots of leather, lots of bay leaves, very, very aromatic, big, pungent, intense, in-your-face experience. Then you also have some patchouli, cedar wood, really, really knockout fragrance. Beast mode, the, the cloud is huge with this one, but it's very, very resinous and, and dark and intense. But you also have lots of aromatic touches, which brightens things up and gives it this air. So it's really intense experience, really delicious, and I'm impressed with the quality of this fragrance from um, Guerlain. I swear by this fragrance. I love it, and if you don't know about it, definitely check out my review, and I have a review of this one with Ashley, who you guys love to watch. Anyway, another great, great resinous and balsamic fragrance, Bois Mysterio, Bois Mysterio from Guerlain. Next, going to the house of Maitre Parfumé at Gantier, and this is... Ambre Perceau, Ambre Perceau, freaking amazing amber, one of the best ambers ever, and this is a very, very resinous and balsamic amber. You've got amber, vanilla, myrrh, tolu balsam, peru balsam, so it's very, very balsamic. You've got a combination of both the tolu and the peru, which we learned about via Dana in my video recently, but you got lots of myrrh here, and of course amber, and amber is usually created with labdanum and amber accord. So this is intense beast mode amber, very, very resinous, very, very balsamic and it is to die for. This is Ambre Perso from uh, Maitre Parfumé at Gantier. Next, going to the house of Atelier des Ors, and this is L'Armédio Desert, this one right here. This one is a late discovery for me. I have a full review of, of it, and you should definitely check out. It is very, very incense-y with lots of frankincense, but you also have this vanillic, golden vanillic touch running through the whole fragrance with this beautiful benzoin uh, note, which is another resin we learned about, which benzoin traditionally goes vanillic, and I love that about it. And so it's frankincense, smoky, kind of churchy, with that sweeter, kind of vanillic benzoin running through the incense to make a be beautiful combination uh, of uh, uh, notes together. You also have a very creamy kayak wood thrown in here, gives it a very kind of dense um, softness to it. And then of course you got cypress and some additional woody notes. Really, really beautiful. Very, very unique incense fragrance. It smells like church, but then it doesn't, if that makes sense. So this was this one's pretty awesome. So this is Atelier des Ors, L'Armée du Desert, another one for you to try. And then next, go into the house of Javoy. This is La Liturgie des Ors. Oh my God, this one's amazing. Phenomenal incense. Um, it smells um, like real church. Uh, as I was telling you about the Casbah, this is another one that smells like my church. Absolutely amazing, amazing fragrance with this one. Um, you've got to love incense though in order to appreciate fragrances like this. You've got cypress, you've got olibanum, you've got myrrh. It's all the resins, of course the frankincense, together to make for one big powerful punch of a uh, incense and uh, resinous and balsamic kind of fragrance. This house doesn't disappoint and if you've been looking for an incense or resinous balsamic fragrance from this house, this is it right here. Javoy La Liturgie des Heures and that is another one for you to try. So here's where things are going to get a little more interesting, they're going to get a little more sweeter, they're going to get a little more amberier and we're going to start off with this one that I'm obsessed with from the house of uh, Ormond Jane and this is called Tolu. Tolu, again, 
again is about tolu balsam, and you've got tolu balsam in here, you've got amber, tonka beans, uh, orange blossom, and there's some olibanum running through it as well to give it a smokier touch, because tolu balsam doesn't generally smell very smoky to me. But this is to die for fragrance. It is absolutely to die for. The orange blossom is also standout. You can definitely pick it up. It's ambery, but it's not heavy and dense and molasses-y and syrupy. There's a lightness about it. In fact, the whole entire house is actually very classy to me. Even though this is kind of like a dark and resinous um, balsamic fragrance, the fragrance smells amazing. It's not heavy and weighty. So this is Tolu from Ormond Jane. Definitely one for you to check out. Next, going to the house of YSL. Hey, we're talking about YSL here. I'm finally discovering the La Vestiaire collection of fragrances. This is Kaftan, and this one focuses on Benzoin. Love Benzoin note. And you also have some Olibanum. You've got Labdanum, of course, we discussed. Labdanum is what gives it the ambery touch. Then you have some Styrax and Musk. This is actually pretty phenomenal release from this house and I'm kind of turning around to discovering these fragrances from this collection but you gotta love the, the notes in here the benzoin is amazing the olibanum is amazing labdanum very very dark and dense uh, balsamic and resinous fragrance um, definitely bottle worthy if you like that style so this is kaftan from YSL's Le Bestiaire collection next going to the house of Le Labo and this is labdanum 18 so this one actually focuses on the labdanum note this is labdanum but you also have vanilla civet you have musk resins and castorium the resins are not really highlighted so I'm assuming resins um, to me it's a sweeter take on resins so I'm assuming there's some benzoin in here, maybe some myrrh, and definitely not um, frankincense because it doesn't smell like church, but it's very ambery, it's very vanillic, and it does get a little civety and musky in the dry down, so you've got to love that kind of stuff. There's also castorium in the notes, so it's, to me, it smells like musk. It's a very, very sexy, almost bordering gourmand musk, and what comes to mind with this one is, um, Musk Ravageur from uh, Frederick Ball because the perfumer who created this also created Musk Ravageur. So they kind of have similarities. So if you like balsamic resinous fragrance with the, you know, musky touch, then definitely Labdanum 18 from Le Labo. And speaking of Le Labo, I have two fragrances from this house. Benzoin 19 because we're talking about resins and balsams. Benzoin 19 is about benzoin and you've got olibanum here. You've got benzoin, you've got cedarwood, amber and musk. Very, very beautiful fragrance. This is probably one of my favorite benzoin fragrances, but I have a much more fragrance that I like a lot more, but this is all about benzoin. It's it's actually not very intense and heavy as Labdanum 18 is, so there's something lighter about this one, even though it's a resin, benzoin, vanilla. It doesn't come off too um, benzoiny, but Compared to this, where I said it doesn't have a churchiness, there is some underlying churchiness with this one with the old abandoned note thrown in. So there's a little bit of like smoke in there. Very, very unique fragrance, really cool fragrance. I love it, but it is expensive. It's from the city exclusive. So this is the Labo Benjoin 19. Next, going to the house of Orza El Legrand. This is Rev de Ocean, this one right here. Again, beautiful church fragrance, but this one actually takes it into more of a forest pine tree kind of direction, a lot more than the previous ones I discussed because there's also an underlying sweetness with this one. You've got frankincense, you've got benzoin, the sweetness is coming from that. There's elemi resin, there's also pine tree, there's aldehydes, there's more resins of papanax that also has a little bit of more sweetness, and of course there's labdanum, so there's a ambery touch here. But a gorgeous, truly, truly gorgeous fragrance. Absolutely gorgeous incense. Check it out, Rev d'Océan from Orza El Legrand. And then we have another one from the House of Guerlain. This is Bois de Armini. Basically means uh, Armenian wood. Um, hey, so I'm Armenian and I love this one. Not because I am Armenian and it's got Armenian in the name, but I just love benzoin. And I wore this one a lot until I discovered another benzoin fragrance and I'll tell you about it as soon as I get to it. But this one is from uh, the more expensive collection. You've got benzoin, you've got frankincense, you've got gayak wood, and you've got um, balm and an iris. It's really true beautiful I think though when I first bought this compared to now it's lost its uh, heft to it it was a lot more heavier before but it still smells quite amazing and unfortunately I'm stuck with this stupid bottle I can't stand these sprayers because they're just very misty the way they spray and I'd rather have my sprayers be really pointed but then again the smell is quite phenomenal so if you like 
uh, the fragrance inspired by uh, Papier d'Armony, the little incense strips that uh, you are popular in France and of course also in Italy. And you like that kind of benzoiny, smoky smell, then definitely check out Bois d'Armony from Guerlain. Going to the house of Memo Paris, this is Manoa, this one right here. This is another one of those balsamic resinous fragrances. Um, this one actually has lots of vanilla in it as well, but you got a Papanax, Tonka beans, Labdanum, vanilla, ginger. I fell in love with this the last time I went to Paris back in May, and I immediately uh, snatched it up because they said they only have five bottles left and it's discontinued. So hopefully you guys will find this if you like this kind of fragrance. To me, it also smells close to um, a very intense and balsamic resinous Shalimar. So if you like that kind of fragrance, check this one out. It's, uh, it's heavenly. But this one's a Papanax and it's, called, it's got labdanum in it as well. Labdanum gives it that ambery touch. A Papanax is almost like frankincense. It's very smoky. So although the smokiness is not intense here, it does definitely have it in there, but it's truly gorgeous. Manoa from Memo Paris. Definitely get your hands on it if you like this idea of a very balsamic and resinous, um, uh, what do you call it, Shalimar. Next, going to the house of uh, Teo Cabanel, it's Barkhan. Oh man, this one's so good. A great, great amber. Such a great amber. This one has myrrh. It has labdanum, tonka beans, vanilla. It's absolutely delicious. If you like ambers with lots of myrrh and labdanum, of, cor of course, is what they use to create the amber accord. This is a phenomenal release. This house is great. Stay tuned some, for some videos about this house in the future. So, a Teo Cabanel is a French uh, niche perfume house. So, Barkhan is a great, great release. Those of you that are looking for a very, very unique um, amber fragrance. That's also very balsamic and resinous. Next, going to the house of Rania J. Of course, this is uh, Ambre Loop. With this one, you've got lots of labdanum. You also have guyac wood. You have a vanilla. There's lots of balsams in here. And of course, there's some peru balsam. And of course, we discussed peru balsam. But this one actually has very... Um doughy experience for me. Um, doughy as in like dough. Um, there's some, a slightly bordering gourmand but it's very balsamic and resinous. It's just there's something in here that smells like like freshly uh, rising dough with yeast in it. I don't know if that makes sense to you guys but but it's a great one of the best ambers ever. It's amazing like as I said Mitch Parfumé at Gantier has one of the best ambers, Ambre Perso, and also Rania J's Ambre Loop is also one of the best ambers out there. So check it out, Ambre Loop from Rania J for a great, great balsamic and resinous experience. Next, we are going to Black Afghano, this one right here. And Black Afghano, smoky. Frankincense, lots of frankincense, lots of oud, you got cannabis, woody notes, ambers, resins, just intense phenomenal fragrance of matt I, I don't want to say it's a masterpiece because this is not one of my this is not the kind of fragrance i would call a masterpiece but a lot of people think it is and uh, they love the stuff i think the these days i think it might be a little less intense as it was when i first discovered it back in 2012 but still the smell is pretty phenomenal and it's a great great resinous ambery balsamic fragrance so check it out this is uh Nasumato's black afghano we have a few more left this is the benzoin fragrance that, I, that kills all other benzoin fragr fragrances. This is benz benzoin boem from um, Diptyque. This is like phenomenal. Absolutely one of the best benzoin smells ever. It is in a pricier uh, catalog of fragrances from Diptyque. And this bottle is gorgeous as you can see. But it's amazing. It's such a sexy benzoin smell. You got benzoin, you got patchouli. I think that's what it is. I love benzoin and I love patchouli and I think the two together make for heavenly smell. You also have some styrax thrown in here and some sandalwood. There's a li little bit of creamy touch from that sandalwood. It's a creamy woody touch. And then some angelica. Amazing. If you don't, I mean, this one really rocks my world. I love this one. So check it out. Benzoin Bo and Benjoin Bohem from Diptyque. And then last but not least, we are going to the house of Penhaligans again. This is Asawira, this one right here. Really uh, amazing scent here. This one actually is very, very uh, balsamic and resinous. You've got saffron, of course, but the very aromatic, dry, leathery touch. Oud, very woody. Then we have some myrrh here, woody notes. There's some rose that under there, and then there's le amber and labdanum. Um, this is a this is a fragrance that not a lot of people talk about, but it is actual, absolutely an amazing scent from um, uh, from this house, Penhaligans. In fact, this is one of my favorite niche houses. Definitely top 20. It might even be really close to top 10. Uh, I love this house. And this is definitely a sleeper, but definitely an awesome balsamic and resinous fragrance. Anyway, that's Asawira from Penhaligans. And that does it for this list, guys. So what do you think? Do you like resinous and balsamic fragrances? Do you like ambers? Do you like frankincense, myrrh? 
Tolu Balsam, Peri Balsam, Labdanum. Let me know your thoughts. Please put a comment down. Let's get a conversation started. Also, let me know if you like any of these fragrances. Have you tried them? Are you curious to try them? Or if I'm missing anything, please do let me know as well because I know there's a huge world of uh, resinous and balsamic fragrances out there that I probably do not even own or even maybe even heard about. So please put that down. Let me know. Other than that, guys, don't forget to watch the video with Dana. I know it's a long one, but you get to learn a lot about resins and balsams. Um, Please watch that. I have a link in the info box below. Other than that, guys, please like this video. Please share it. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And I'll be back with more videos very soon. Have a good one. Goodbye.